What's up, y'all? It's your girl T, and I am back with another video. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're not, then welcome back. And in today's video, we are going to be going over things that you need to know or things that you need to do to start preparing for Black Friday if you haven't already. Now, I know this video is a little bit late, but it's better late than never, right? So I hope that some of these things that I talk about today can help you in your business or, you know, just remind you if you're already gotten started. Um, before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, click that notification bell so that you're notified every single time I make a new post or video. And um, yeah, let's get right into it. <music> Okay, so Black Friday. Black Friday is around the corner and I have to admit I was a little behind as well, but I'm kind of getting into the gear of things and you know, I'm like what better thing to do than to go ahead and um let all my stylish beauties know, my boss beauties, um which are you guys know what are some things that you need to make sure that you're doing so that you'll have a um decent Black Friday as well. Um, one of the main things, now some of these things that I may talk about today, you may hear, you may have heard, or some of these things you may not have heard. This is just my viewpoint. And these are just some things that I learned throughout um, Black Fridays that I've done and just, you know, researching and over time. One of the very first things that you need to do to prepare for Black Friday is have a plan. You need to have some sort of plan in order for you to have a successful Black Friday sale or any sale, if that matter. It needs to be a plan. You just can't wake up one morning and say, hey, I'm going to do a sale or look over and see the next person doing a sale and say, oh, I'm going to do that exact same sale. No, it don't work like that. You really need a, a plan. And um, by plan, you if you want to, I would say you need to have a goal. A goal as far as um, a monetary goal, how much money you want to make for that sale. Um, you can also put down like if you're selling wigs, how many wigs you want to sell. If you have products, how many of each product you want to sell. Um, tutorials, anything that you're selling, you want to make sure you jot down and be very specific on everything that you're going to have on sale, what you're going to have on sale, and how many of those items you need to sell. Um, you also want to know um, the type of sale. So you want to know there's different types of sales. So you want to kind of know if you're going to have a um, like a buy one, get one sale or a um, give a free item sale or Free shipping, free shipping over a certain amount sale. If you want to do a bundle deal sale where you're selling multiple things at, you know, at one low price, um, buy two, get one free. I think I said that, but that you, you can do exclusive, something that's only offered during Black Friday. But you definitely want to know all those specifics when it comes to planning out a strategy for your Black Friday, okay? Um, some of the things that I've done, uh, to prepare for my Black Friday is of course, do a little bit of research, especially if this is your very first Black Friday, uh, you can use the hashtags on Instagram or even Facebook, hashtag Black Friday wig sale if your wig business, um, or wig sales in general, look at a couple different of your favorite wig makers, their sales that they've done previously for Black Friday. Look at the flyers, look at what they've done. And you can always mimic what someone else done in the past, especially if it worked for you. Now, if you've had a Black Friday before and your Black Friday went well last year, then it doesn't hurt to do a similar sale this year. You know, that's almost like um, Bath and Body Works. They do their same annual candle sale every year. They don't really switch much up and everyone is geared up and prepared for the sale. So it doesn't have to always change every year. So if this isn't your first year, don't stress. If it worked last year, do something similar this year. But um, if you are new, then 
look at what other people have done. That's okay. It's you don't have to reinvent the wheel. If something that they done looks good and it looks like it's something you could do, then you can do that too. So I know I said with um, Black Friday, you definitely want to have a goal, which is, you know, a monetary goal, which is important, but you don't want to focus so much on making a whole lot of profit during your Black Friday sale. And I say that because, you know, Black Friday is normally like the biggest sale of the year for any business. So if your items are priced correctly, then you know, you may be taking a bit of a profit cut, or, you know, a little bit of cut from your profit, but that's okay. Now you don't, you want to make sure that you're not losing money, but if you're not earning as much of a profit during this Black Friday sale, that's okay. You want to make sure that you're gaining more customers because you rather have a whole lot of order, a hundred orders making ten dollar profit per order not ten but i'm just for example over having five orders with fifty dollar profit or something per order you want to have more orders with the least amount of profit more people will shop with you especially being that you know you have such good deals now when you think about whatever your sale and your deal is you want to make sure that you look at it from a customer standpoint, like what would make me want to shop with me, <laughs> with my company over other companies? Because the thing is, is you're not the only one going to have a sale. Black Friday, everybody having a sale. All wig businesses, hair businesses, everybody's having a sale. Now, the thing is, is what's going to make that customer shop with you over everybody else? So, yes, you want to have a good sale. You don't want to just have a 10% off sale. 10% off, you know, you can get that when you subscribe to the newsletter or that can come year round or at another time. But 10% really isn't that big of a deal as opposed to, you know, other companies that may be offering a free gift with every item plus free shipping plus something else, you know, plus good deals on wigs. So, make sure that whatever you decide to do for your sale that it is worth your customer coming to shop with you okay why would you want to shop with you not just oh because her wigs are nice make sure that the sale is an actual sale okay one of the things uh that i noticed a lot of people are starting to do now which is great um if you can and if you have the uh, money to do so then you invest in your business go ahead and have your inventory in order and already on hand that will put you ahead of other competitors right there alone because now your customer don't have to wait uh 17 15 days for a custom wig or any items or pre-sale items because they know when they place their order that they'll be getting their order shipped pretty soon especially with the holidays coming up um christmas will be right around the corner a lot of people want their items kind of quick so if you can prepare to have your inventory, a certain amount of wigs on hand, go ahead and have those on hand. Now, when it comes to having your inventory, not don't just think about just having your wigs on hand. If you're making the wigs, if you're custom making, you need to go ahead and make sure you're getting all the supplies from the wig caps to the thread to the um, everything that you boxes pack. Uh, if you're using boxes, you need to make sure you have your whatever mailers that you're using, your thank you cards, check all your inventory and make sure you have enough of all of those things so that when your sale is over, you can just begin packaging and sending them out. And that's that. So having your inventory will be great if you're able to. If you're not, it's okay. You can still get some of your packaging supplies and um, just make sure if you are going to do the pre-order system that you... Put in the description, um, you know, you put in the description how long it's going to take for your customer to receive their items so that they know and you're not getting a whole lot of emails asking, oh, I placed my order on Black Friday. When is my wig shipping? When is my wig shipping? You won't have to worry about that if you have it listed in the description. Cool. Also, make sure you check with your vendor about whatever it is that you're going to put on sale because the last thing you want to do is have a sale say if you're going to have a sale on some curly bob five by five closures 
you have that sale on Black Friday, you mark those wigs down and it goes so well, you sell 15 of those five by five curly bob wigs. And then you go to, if you're doing pre-order and you go to make an order from your vendor and your vendor say, I'm sorry, we're out of five by five curly bob wigs. Guess what? What are you going to do? Are you going to refill on all your customers? Because now your customers done pay for something and you need to fulfill their orders and you didn't make it aware, you know, make it clear with your with your vendor as to what you're um, putting on sale, how many you need, and do they have more than enough in stock? Because the same way you could be having a sale on that, somebody else could too. And if they place their order before you and when their vendor get ready to fulfill your order and they don't have everything, then it's just going to suck for you. So you want to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. So if you can have your inventory on hand, I believe that's why I feel like a lot of people are having their um, hair or wigs on hand now because, you know, with the lace shortage going on right now, it's just kind of scary. And that has happened to me before where I, a certain wig was out of stock and I had already had to sell. I'd already had so many people order it. I just had to contact all the customers and give them a free upgrade of a uh, closure size. And they were definitely fine with that. But, you know, I took a, even more of a loss during a sale. So my profit was, you know, little to none. But hey, th that's, that's how business go. You know, you don't always win, you lose some. So that's that. Oh, another thing would be, if you don't already have this, which I have a detailed video on it, have some sort of buy now, pay later option on your website. That will definitely guarantee to give you some sort of sale, at least one or two sales. I know me, I have Shopify and I've done a whole video on Sizzle and um, I'll leave the link below. If you haven't used Sizzle, I'll leave the link to that video which is all about sizzle as well as i have a little referral uh code that you can use uh for signing up for sizzle and sizzle is great um it's a way that your customers if they don't have all the money up front especially for wigs because wigs are a high ticketed item that they can just pay a certain price that day during black friday you'll get all your money and um yeah you can fulfill their orders and so they have more than just Sizzle. They have Quad Pay. You can sign up for multiple um, different ones and have those available. You know, it's always good to have more options over none. Okay. You want to make sure that you're hyping up your sale. Hype up your sale at least two weeks before Black Friday. You can't wait till three days before. You give your customers enough time to, um, I mean, they're already going to know. Like the 1st of November, you can let them know, hey, are y'all ready for Black Friday sale? It's November, whatever, whenever it is. Hype it up, especially them, them two weeks um, before Black Friday. You want to make it sound like it's going to be the best sale ever. Now, it don't matter if your sale ain't all that. You let them know my sale is all that, okay? You want them to be anticipating the day that they, you open up that you know sale and they get on there and shop, okay? So two weeks before, don't wait too late. So get on it now. Um, I'm gonna go back to marketing. So for um, marketing, you definitely want to have some sort of plan when it comes to marketing. If you're going to do email marketing, you need to go ahead and have your email scheduled out, drafted out, how often you want your emails, what you want them to say. That goes with hyping up that, um, you know, hyping up that sale. If you don't have an email list, you need to go ahead and try to figure out, get your email uh, list going now, have people sign up. So they can receive emails from you because I'm telling you, that is one way to get, to keep some money coming in as well. Because people don't always have their phone and just, you know, and scroll with, or with the Instagram algorithm, you may be scrolling and you may miss, um, you may miss somebody's post, but if you got the email set up, they're guaranteed to get an email sent to their uh, phone and they can check in and remember, oh yeah, she having a sale. Uh, text, me text messaging marketing is another great, great, great strategy when it comes to, um, 
getting to the customers and reminding them about the sale. So if you need to do text messages, that's great. Um, Facebook, Instagram ads, if you're familiar with those, then you can do some of those. Um, if you do, my suggestion would be uh, if you do any ads, don't go through Instagram. You, Instagram, you want to go through the Facebook um the Facebook ad manager on Facebook. And that's where you want to get very specific and, um, you know, kind of gear all of your ads to go towards. That'll help you. Um, you want to do any type of um, tutorials, like little short Instagram tutorials showing different styles with your wigs. Uh, you want to do any kind of brand awareness. You just want to put yourself out there. If it had been any time before for this whole entire year that you've mentioned your business, now is the time to mention your business and get on people's nerves and put yourself out there that, hey, this is my business. This is what I sell. And I'm having a good sale Black Friday, okay? Because Black Friday is the time where, yes, you want to gain new customers, but if you're already establishing your business, you want all those old customers to come back and start shopping with you. Um, again, you know, you want them to buy something else from you during that time, another wig or whatever it is. And any new customers, you want to build that trust with them prior to Black Friday so that they will feel like, okay, I'm going to shop with them. Building that trust. That could be um, reviews, any reviews that you have, screenshot the reviews, make, publish those reviews. The reviews normally seals the deal on any type of sale. Think about it. Before you buy something, what's the first thing you do? Well, for me, I know I'm going to check a review. So uh, post out those reviews, videos, videos do way better than pictures. A lot of times people want to see you wearing your stuff, not just on a mannequin head, uh, they tutorials on how they do this. You want to be able to show, especially if you're selling wigs, that, hey, this is exactly what it's going to look like when you get it. Let me show you if you order this wig during Black Friday. Okay. Is you want to make sure that your website is Black Friday ready. And by that, I mean, you just want to do a run through on your website to make sure that everything you have your... Um, procedures, policies, and um, shipping times. You have all of that in place. You want to make sure that you, when you click on everything, you click on your collections, your FAQ, your contact with us, all of that. You want to make sure all of that is workable and clickable and it doesn't lead to nothing because, you know, anybody new, they're going to click through your site. And if anything is not working right or it looks shady, they're not going to shop. So definitely do that. Also, during this time, you want to make sure that you um, you want to make sure that you have a tab or somewhere that you're putting all of your Black Friday sale items. You don't want to have your Black Friday stuff all over your website. Like you want to um, make sure that your Black Friday stuff, all they got to do is click one place in a collection. If you're using Shopify, you can create a Black Friday collection. Under that collection, everything that's going to be on sale is right there on one click. Make it easy for your customers. If you make it hard and they got to go hunting all over the place, for well, no, they ain't going to, no, they're just not going to. People like very simple, easy, quick, convenient things. And so that's, um... Another thing is just make sure that all your collections are there. Um, oh, and I may do another video. I don't know if I'll do one in enough time. Let me know if you guys want one. But when you create your collection on Shopify, there is a way to go ahead and make your whole Black Friday collection. Go ahead and input all those wigs, pictures, and everything. And you can schedule it to appear and show available on the day of and a time that you want on Black Friday. So it'll be there. It won't be searchable. It won't be available until that day you can schedule a whole entire collection. So that's something good to know because you don't have to go in and wait. You can do that now. Like I said, don't stress yourself about that about Black Friday. If this is your very first Black Friday, you know, do what you can and that's okay. Uh you don't have to have everything on sale everything that you sell on sale for Black Friday, pick a few items and let those be like your main items 
on sale for Black Friday. If you sell uh, wigs and hats and socks and accessories and all this stuff, which I, I don't recommend, but if you sell a whole lot of different things, everything don't have to be on sale. Put a couple different things on sale and that's it. Too many things on sale, too much on sale. It's just, it can be confusing for the customer and it can also just be too much for you. So find some of those very, like you can do polls on Instagram now. Ask your customers what type of things they want on sale. It's always good to hear from your customers. You want to know what they want on sale because they're the ones that's going to buy. Don't just choose things that you want on sale because it's not the sale isn't for you. It's for your customers. So um, definitely use that. Find interesting, different ways to advertise. When you do have your flyers made, you can have flyers made from um, Fiverr. That's like a very affordable place. And they have a pretty quick turnaround time on um, getting a flyer back. Get you a couple different flyers made so that you can put a flyer. Um, of course, in your email campaigns, you also want to you know, have flyers for your social media. And um, yeah, just just spread your name and um do what you can don't stress about black friday um it's just another sale day so you know some people get so caught up in it or feel like they have to do what the next person do don't focus on trying to have the same sale as the next person like the exact same sale because what works for them or what's their goals that's for them you can look and see and get ideas from other people's but people, but don't try to keep up with somebody else. Okay, so just do what you can for yourself, and um, you know, just it, you're gonna learn from this sale regardless. Whether you make a sale or you you make you know 20, 30 sales that day, um, it'll it'll all be successful. It'll be. At least you did something, at least you prepare, and you'll know for next year, whatever you that didn't go well this year, you'll know and you'll learn from next year. So, um, yeah, I, I believe that's all I have for you guys when it comes to Black Friday tips. If you have anything else um, that you would like to add, you can drop those in the comments. I do try to read you guys' comments and um, I see some of you guys like, you know, interact with each other. You know, we're all in this together as wig makers and wig businesses. And we all learn, you know, what things that I learn, I share with you guys. And, you know, if you learn anything, I love for you guys to share with me. So, uh, yeah, I hope this video helped. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up if it did. And, um, yeah, share my videos. Make sure you're subscribed. And I will see you in another video. Bye, y'all. broken. Oh, 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 o